Tav Kuf Gimel Amit Beis. We'll begin Kuf Gimel Amit Aleph, seven lines from the bottom of the two dots. Amar Rabbi Yehuda. So in the Mishnah we learned that Rabbi Yehuda said that there is Matzin Rishim Kaltan Mishem Gorol. If a person is tending to write the name Shimon, he wrote the first two letters, Shin Mem, Shem, or Shem Mishmuel, or Noach Minocha, etc. Then he's Chayev because if he he wrote a name, even though he intended to write the full name, Shimon, but Shin Mem, Shem, is a word. So he's Chayev for those two letters alone. You mean only if it's two different letters that he's chayv? If he writes two letters, and if they're only two different ones? But You mean to say that if it would be the same letters, that two letters, for instance, if he wrote Gimel Gimel, Gag, that he wouldn't be chayv, it has to be two different letters in Mem? But not the same letters. I will tell you we learned the Bryce of Asachas. It says in the Pasuk that if a person does one of the things that he shouldn't do, he does an Avera, then he's hired to bring a Korban. So if he does a Beshege, he has to bring a Chor Korban. You might think that if he's hired only if he does the complete action that he intended to do, to write the complete name. Only then he'd be chayv, you might say. Or if he intends to weave a, a baguette, only if he weaves the whole baguette. Or acha kola napa. Uh, the napa that we're referring to over here is Rashi says, for instance, that you have a wicker basket, you're weaving a w- wicker basket, so on the top or the bottom, you have the chassis, the vertical strips of the, the wicker. On the rims, you put two, uh, two horizontal be, uh, threads or or, or uh, beams uh, that go in and out. You weave it in and out. It goes one on the uh, top and one underneath it, and that holds the vertical the vertical strips of the corner of the wicker in place. So you have to have on the top and the bottom you have two strips, two strips horizontal strips that go. You're weaving them in and out on the top and the bottom. One under there, that holds the top in place, and on the bottom, that holds the bottom in place. So you might think that you have to do the entire amount. So therefore it says, Tamalomer me ahas. It says mem, it says me from one of the things. If a person does from the things that he shouldn't do, me ahas. So therefore even part, even if he does it partially. So you might think that even if he only does one, then in one letter he should be chayev. It says one, so it has to be achas, it has to be complete. So one, it says one achas, which is mashma complete. So me achas, which is mashma partial. It doesn't have to comp- be complete. It has to be complete. It has to be something that's complete, meaning that it's something that you would have written in another place, somewhere else you would have written it, even though it's only part of what you're intending to do right now. For instance, shem mishimet. The letter shin, the letters shin mem, that's something that is complete in different circumstances. If the person wa- wants to write the word shin. Now, even though it's part of what he's intending to write right now, it's only part of the word shimen, he's high for that. Or shim or mishmuel, from the word shmuel. So that's what the Tanakhama says. But Rabbi Hudoi, Merafil, Waikosavil, Shtei, Oisiz, Ven, Shem, Achar, Chayab. Rabbi Huda says, even if there are two letters and it's one name, that you're kind. You're going sauce. So even if it's the same letter, it's sin sin, it's the same letter, or or tate, or rar, or gag, or chech, all of these things, even if it's the same letter, but they have a meaning, they have an implication that's written elsewhere, you'd be chayim. So you see that it's not only if there are two different letters, even if they're the same letter, you're chayim. And on that, the continuation of the Bryce is Amr of Yosef, Chaim Yishum, Kaisev Hu Chayev. This is Rav Yosef, the Shita also. He says, writing is not, the Isra, the Malacha of writing is not for writing letters, writing words. It, that's not the Malacha. 
it's from making markings. It doesn't even have to be a word. Even if you made markings, two markings, they, in the Mishkan, they matched up the Krashim, they matched up the boards, and they matched it by even making markings or simonim to, to join them to match one to the other. Shekain Roshim al Kashim Mishkan, Lady Eze, he ben Zugai. The Vicha, he says, Sora Srita Achas, we just put a line, a Srita Achas, Al Shnei Nesorim, on two different boards, or Shte Sritas on Neser Achar, or two markings, two scratches on two lines on one board, he's high. Or he says it doesn't even have to be letters. It's very similar to what they did in the Mishkan, <clears throat> to match up the boards, which he says in the Mishkan, they didn't even use letters, they just used markings, so two markings, you're high. Rabbi Shimon Oimer, he says, V'osa achas, the Pasek says, Achas, yochal, achi yuchleves kol ha-shem, achi eregis kol ha-beged, achi eresed kol ha-napa, tamu lemer me-achas, it's even partial. I me-achas, yochal, afilu lo yikosa, v'lo yisachas, afilu lo arge l'chute, achar, afilu lo yasa, l'v yisachas, v'napa, tamu lemer achas. Ha-keitzer, e'en l'chayv, achi yasa, m'lacha, sheke yoytze, bo miskayemes. He has to do something, it doesn't have to be the complete item, it has to be something which would be done and uh, in another place, or it's miskaim. It has some sort of permanence, meaning it's something that would, in other circumstances, would stand on its own. So it's something that a person would do and would uh, would view under different circumstances as being complete. Now, even though here right now he wants to name, write the name Shimon, but Shim Shem Shin Mem on its own. Uh, is a complete name, so he's chai. So the Gemara is going to ask, this is exactly what the Tanakhama said, what is the difference, what is the Machlekes, we'll see in the Gemara shortly. Rabbi Yaisi, Aymer Rabbi Yaisi says, Va'asa achas, va'asa heinem. It says achas, and it says heinem. The Pazik says that a person, va'asa achas meheinem. He does one of the things that shouldn't be done. So it says, achas and heinem. Pamim shechayv achas al kulam. Sometimes there, he does many things and he's only chayv one chatas. Upam shechayv al kol achas vachas. And sometimes he's chayv a separate chatas, a separate korban for each one of those things. Gemara will explain shortly. We'll see what Rav Yaisi means. However, coming back to our point. Now in our Mishnah, Rav Yehuda says, Rav Yehuda says in our Mishnah that he says, Matsinu shame kata mishem gadol. He says, shame mishem. So, it's, the kasha that we had is that the dik over here, it's from Yehuda, that it's mashma, that it has to be two different letters. Like shin mem, it's two different letters. So, frag the Gemara. So, we see over here that Rabbi Yehuda in the Bryce, however, he says, even if they're two of the same letters, even though the two letters, same letters, like Gimel Gimel. So it seems to be a stira. And what we learned in the Mishnah, it's not a kash. It's the one is his shita, and one is his rabbi shita. So this is in the name of the Rebbe. So this is in the name of Rabbi Gamliel. So therefore, in our Mishnah, he's expressing his own sheet. In the Brisa, he's expressing the sheet of his Rebbe, Rabbi Gamliel. Now the Gemara will continue to analyze this Brisa. Frankly, the Gemara of Shimon Hainu Tanakama. Well, it seems to be that Rav Shimon is saying exactly the same thing as the Tanakama. Vechitema. Maybe you'll say Aleph Aleph. The Azrek Hakebe Naihu. You might think that if he writes the two letters Aleph Aleph. Now Aleph Aleph, in itself, is not a word. So you might think that if he's planning to write the word Azrek, and he writes two Alephs. You might think that's enough. Give me the Tanakama Sabra Allah of the Loimachai. The Tanakama, you're not chai because that's not a word. It's two letters, but it doesn't form a word. It's not like Shin Mem, it's not like Shame, and it's not like Gimel Gimel, it's not like Gag. It's two letters that do not form a word. Rav Shimon Sabra came in the Isa Begadal Turi Baalma Chai. And perhaps, and Rav Shimon holds that no, that since by Kameas, Isis explained Galturi is by Kameas, when they write Kameas, they do write. 
Aleph, Aleph, they write these two letters, even though they don't form a word, but they have some meaning in the, uh, for the, in the Kamea, in terms of the Kamea, that Rosh Shimon would say the Chukai. So maybe that's the Machlegas. So the Mamer, the Rosh Shimon, you mean to say that Rosh Shimon is more Machmir in this regard? That Rav Shimon says that you need less of a complete item than the, than Tanakama. I Vatanya, we learn in the Brights, if someone drills even a minimal amount, he drills in the wall, he's high. If a person scrapes the ladder, or he tans or works the ladder, even a minimal amount, or or he makes an etching or a drawing on a even a minimal amount. Then he's chayev. He's even in a minimal amount. The Tanakhama says you're chayev. But Rav Shimon Oimer, no, you can't just do a minimal amount. Achi gadechas kula, achi gares kula, achi avigas kula, achi yotzer kula. You have to do the whole amount. So you see that in this regard, Rav Shimon holds you need more of him. You need his intent, not a partial intent. He's more machmer than the Tanakhama, and you need the, the entire kli or the entire. A, uh, a baguette or, or piece of leather. So Isis points out that firstly, when in the Tanakama, when it says Ma'avid Kol shahu, we don't mean literally Kol shahu. We mean the minimal Shi'urim that we learned before in the uh, in the previous stuff on, on uh, Dafayan Tess, that the minimum shur that was specified. We don't mean literally a Kol shahu. But I call upon him, the Tanakama is the one that says that it's a smaller shear, it's a minimal shear. And Rav Shimon is the one that says, no, you need more of a fulfillment of his intention. It has to be the, the, the whole baguette. It has to be Mavid, the whole baguette. It has to be more of the item. It has to be the entire word. And therefore, we would say it has to be the entire word, word just it has to, as it has to be the entire uh, Kli, the Tzura, the entire Kli, the, the Ma'avid, the, the whole Begid, etc. Taisus asks that according to Rosh Shimon, why is that so? Why is it so that we say that the Tzara, the Kli, it has to be the entire Tzura, it has to be the Achiavid, uh, the, the Kula, the whole Begid? And yet, what we said before, by the weaving, by the napa, it didn't, we didn't say the entire amount. It doesn't have to be kuloi. It only has to be ishte batinirim. So what's the difference between the two? So Taisa says that by oireg, when you're weaving, you're making something, you're creating something new, then it doesn't have to be the whole amount. Even if it is less than that, that is considered a malacha because you're creating something. There's something creative that's happening that over here. That's a malacha. When you're being masak in something, then Rashima says it has to be the complete tikkun. So therefore, if you're doing a tzura on a kli, you have a kli. You're not fabricating a kli. So therefore, even a... Um, the tzura that you're making is not a complete something new. Therefore, the tzura has to be complete. Or the leather, you're not uh, creating the leather. Therefore, the ibud that you're doing has to be complete. But when you're making a weaving a baggage, you're fabricating, uh, weaving rather, the basket, you're fabricating the basket over there. It doesn't have to be complete. It's even if it's not complete. But I'll call upon him. You see, the Rav Shimon is the one that's more machmir, that needs more of his intent than the Tanakhama. So what is the difference between Rav Shimon and Tanakhama? El Gemara says, Rav Shimon ho asalashminan ashiyichtav as Hashem kul. You have to write the whole name. Ay omi matzah samet ha'achiv v'atanya Rav Shimon noimer v'asa acha asyachal ashiyichtav as Hashem kul. You might think you have to write the entire name. Tamalor me'achas. It says me'achas. So you don't have to write it completely. More answers. Taras ve'ma ha'achiv yachal ashiyichtav as a pasuk kul. You might think if he's intending to write a pasuk that he's not chayiv until he writes, unless he writes the entire pasuk. Tamalor me'achas me'ach. But you have to write the entire word. The complete word has to be written. Masha'en Kane, the Tanakama says that you don't even have to write the entire word, even the two letters. The Gemara continues to analyze the Shittas and the Baraisa of Yaisiyam Rabba Asa Achas, Vasa Heina, Pam Im Shachai Vachas Al Kulanu, Pam Shachai Val Kolachs Vachas. So sometimes Jachayev, many Chatos for one, sometimes Jachayev, uh, sometimes Jachayev rather. 
a, a one chatas for many actions, and some other times you have a separate chatas for each one. So, Amar of Yaisi, Barab Chanina, my time is Rabbi Yaisi. It says Achas, and it says Meachas. So it says one, if a person does one of the things that he shouldn't have done, so we dash in the word achas, but we also dash in it says meachas from one. It says heina, it says achas, if a person does meachas meheina, he does one, he does one of the, from from of these items, from of uh, these items, he does one of the things that he shouldn't have done, it says heina. It says these items in the plural, these many items. And it says meheina, from these items. So we darshan achas shi heina, heina shi achas. We darshan achas, which is heina, one which is many, many which is one. Achas shimen, we darshan word achas, and we also darshan the word me achas. We darshan each one of these components, achas and me achas, heina and me heina. We also darshan achas heina, the two together. So achas is shimen. Meaning, if he would write the word Shimon, he's high. Me'achas, if he would do from part of that item, part of that one thing, is shame is Shimon. So he's high of a carbon, even if he writes the word shame from the word Shimon. Heina is always. From these items, so there's several items, these are always. Me'heina, from amongst these items, so we darshan something which are not the items themselves, but something similar to these items are told us. He's high of a carbon for being over the tolls as well. Achashi heinam, one which is many, that's Zodan Shabbos, Vishigil's Malachas. If he knows that it's Shabbos, but he forgot that you're not allowed to do these Malachas, so it could be that one forgetting of he's Zodan Shabbos, he knows that it's Shabbos, but he's Shkogais on the Malachas. It's achas shehi heina his chayev for each and every one of these malachas a korban for each one heina she achas many which is one is shigir shabbos v'zod malachas and there he's only chayev one he's only chayev one korban for that. I'm reviewing a messina shem called him shem gadol. So if he's intending to write the name Shimon, he writes shin mem is chayev. Frankly, more me don't mem the shemen salsa mem the shemen pasuach. How can you say he's chayev? The mem of shem is an end of mem. It's also, and of shemen it's not an end of mem. It's pasuach. So if he's intending to write the uh, name Shimon, he writes shin. And mem with a, a mem pasuach. Why should that be the word shame? The word shame has an end of mem. Omer of Chistas is a meris also masal pasuach kasher. This therefore teaches you that a letter that's supposed to be salsa, you're supposed to write an end of mem. If you wrote it pasuach, it's still kosher. It's still considered a valid kosher word, and it would be kosher if he, if he writes it that way. May say, I ask you, Kash, how can you say that? It's a Zuksaf, Mashiach, take Sivatama, the writing, so you're writing the Mezuzas, you're writing this for him, it has to be Sivatama. Shal Yichtav, Alfim, and Ayanin, you should not write an Alf and Ayan, an Ayan and Alf. Base and Kifin, you should not write the base in the form of a Chof. Kifin Basin, or vice versa. Or Gomen Sladin, you shouldn't write the Gimel as a Tzadi, a Tzadi Gomen. Vice versa, or Dalit and Reish, the Dalit and the Reish should be clearly differentiated. The Dalit should not look like a Reish, a Reish and Dalit, and vice versa. He and Ches, and the He should not look at Ches, a Ches and He. Vav and Yudin, Yudin, Vav and Zayin and Nunin, the Zayin should not look like a Nun, and Nun, Zayin. Tess and Kefin, the Kefin, Tess and you should not write a test that looks like a Tess and Piffin, rather, a Piffin, Tess and the test should not look like a Pay. And the pay should not look like a test. Tesis points out. Therefore, we see over here that the test, the head top of the test, the rush of the test should be bent over. Because otherwise, if it's not bent over, how would it be similar to a pay to begin with? It must be that the top of the test is is bent over, and therefore it has an appearance on the top like a pay. So you have to be very careful not to make a test like a pay or pay like a test. Kfufin, pshutim, pshutim, kfufin. You should not make the bent letters straight letters, straight letters, bent letters. For instance, the letters of chof, an end of or where it's not an end of So, and when it's not an end of then it's not bent, or it's sadi. 
or these letters over there where when they come at the end of the word they are folded they're bent and they should not make it if it's not at the end of the word so the letters chaf pei tzadi non if it's not at the end of the word it should be straight and if it is at the end of the word it should be bent the mem and the samach should not be interchanged and you should not make the ones which are stumin, the mem psucha, the mem stuma should not be entertained. Parsha psucha, lo yasem a stuma, stuma lo yasem a psucha. Kosa kashir, oi shakosa the shir ki oi tsebo. Oi shakosa shaloi bedjoi, oi shakosa vesas koras bezov, or eli ginizu. If he wrote a, the shira, the shira is l- written in, in alternate lines, it's written in the form of the shira that it's not to line one line on top of the other. What's a shirak should not be written on with the regular lines, which are one on top of the other, and vice versa should not be done. It has to be written with ink, proper joy. And you cannot write the Shem Hashem with gold. In all these cases, Yignazu. So you see clearly that the Mem Psucha and the Mem Stuma cannot be interchanged. So how could it be that you say that if you intended to write the name Shimon and he wrote Shin Mem, well the Shin Mem from Shame is a is the end of Mem, and the Shin Mem from Shimon is not. So how could that be considered to be a word? So Brother Shem will continue with the next element.